Waldorf arrives in June. Uh, he gets permission from, from Gallagher to install the lights on the field. That's really not accomplished until uh, late August, early September. So it's not until mid-September that they have lights uh, at Lewis Field. And at the time, Lewis Field uh, also had a track that ran around the outside of the field. And so track events were also held there. Well, the lights sat between the track and the football field. And so uh, Tuesday night before our first home game was the first time that the squad had a chance to practice under the lights. Um, and so they turned the lights on um, and it attracted a crowd of over 500 people uh, from Stillwater. They weren't quite sure what was going on. Some thought there was a fire because of the glow in the sky. Others thought, it, you know, just were curious as to what was going on. But they, they attracted uh, local citizens, students uh, show up to watch them practice under the lights. Um, they paint the ball white uh, so it's easier to see. Uh, and, and some people referred to, to, to night games as, as ghost ball or ghost football um, because you had this white orb flying through the sky, um, but uh, um, yeah, they begin practicing that Tuesday night, and they only had two nights of practice, night practice, before their first night game, um, but uh, it prepared them for the season.